<sighs> I cannot emphasize this enough. If you are going to run any auxiliary circuits on anything, ATV, side by side, your boat, your RV, your go kart, whatever you've got, if you're going to run auxiliary power to something, run it through a fused circuit, please. Please, for the love of God. You can buy a little splice in fuse kits on Amazon and they're cheap and they will save you tons of money. They've got them in splice in versions as well as, well, it's still splice in, but you can mount this one. So that's cool. And they're, this one I think is good for up to 30 amp. I think this one's good for 20, but just, just, just use it, please. I'm not selling them. I, I'm, I don't make any money off of these by telling you to buy these. I'm telling you because I'm your friend and friends should know the truth. This Polaris right here, over the history of its life, this is a 2016, has gone through six fuel pumps. How many? Yeah, you heard me right. Six. And please don't say seven. I swear I hear it enough from my kids. It's so stupid. <sighs> six pumps. If I'm doing the math right, let's round up $300 a pump. That seems awfully high. Okay, we'll be cheap. $200 a pump. That's better. Times six. Six times two is 12. Add two zeros. That's $1,200 in fuel pumps. That's not even labor. Not Amazon fuel pumps. OEM Polaris fuel pumps. I think I have found what has been killing this pump and it's going to blow your mind. This little guy right here was on the end of this little guy, which was bolted directly to the battery. Of course it was. As an auxiliary circuit to go out to the rear to run a tank sprayer or whatnot. This guy here, I chopped off. I put this connector on here. Let me show you why this is killing electrical system. In this connector, there's a short. It's not a huge directly tone out to ground short. It's about three mega ohms. But that's enough to slowly draw this battery because he said he goes through batteries and he has gone through pumps. Well, a continuous short from your battery is going to drain this thing like no tomorrow and wreak havoc on all your electrical systems. It's going to be affected by a continuous short to ground. And it wasn't the type of short that was burning the wire out, but it's just enough to cause problems. Let me show you the reading on this. So here's what we tone out. Zero ohm, right? Check this out. 2.69 mega ohm. And this was connected directly to the battery. All I'm really saying here is please use the fuse. That's not a fuse. Use a fuse. Thank you. God bless.